My name is Hannah, and this is my beauty budget. Hey y'all, what a day. So I came home from work and I have to film tonight because this video has to go up tomorrow. And I beheld my camera hanging over my desk. It was still set up for overhead filming from my lipstick declutter. So I had been planning to film like a more chatty video, but I was feeling totally drained. I have some videos upcoming about the Sephora sale and about how I spent my gift cards at Sephora. I was planning to film one of those, but I wasn't even sure I was up for it. And so I just, on a whim, decided to film my hair product declutter, which I have been itching to do because we just moved, as many of you know. And when we moved, I moved this like box of hair products. And I was like, what am I doing with this box of stuff? There's all this stuff in the bottom of it that I never use. It's just one of these areas of my collection of things, just this corner of my life in which I had like a box of mess. And I don't want a box of mess. I want one, or in some cases, maybe two of each category of product that I regularly use or each category of product that I think I'm going to definitely use intermittently over the course of the next couple of years of my life. And I don't want any more than that. And I don't want any stuff. And I had so much stuff. I learned at the end, because I already filmed it, and then I, you know, set the camera back up, hopefully correctly for this kind of filming. This is the first time I've switched back and forth in this location. So I learned after I finished decluttering everything, and I counted up how much I kept and how much I was getting rid of, that I had had over 50 different hair products and tools. I did everything, like hair bands. I mean, I counted my hair bands and uh, bobby pins as one thing, but every clip, hair band, heat styling tool, hairbrush, I, I decluttered all of it. And when I counted up everything that had been in the box, all of it had been in the box, there were over 50 individual items, which is ridiculous for a grubby little ragamuffin who only washes her hair twice a month and who's always trying to look like she just woke up like this and rolled out of bed. 50 things. I mean, can you imagine? And there's just no room for that in this loft where we're living in one big open room and we really need to pare down our items so that there's a place for everything and everything in its place. There is no place in this space for a box of stuff. So I think that that is all that needs to be said. It's a declutter. You know what a declutter is. I decluttered all of the hair things and I'm so relieved. I, I had it in my mind that I would, at the end, there would be like three things. And of course it didn't go that way, but I'm so much happier now than I was before. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sure you guys just want to see me actually do the thing. So let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. Okay, let's begin, shall we? Here are all of my hair tools and hair products of every kind. This includes shampoos and conditioners and sprays, etc., but it also includes hair bands, clips, bobby pins, just absolutely everything that is in any way relevant to my hair, brushes, etc. And this is way, way too much for someone who only washes her hair twice a month, doesn't really ever condition her hair, and then styles it in kind of an intuitive and non-aggressive way. So it is high time for a declutter of these products. I'm gonna go category by category because this big pile is just too ridiculous. All right, we're starting with shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's just so ridiculous. I didn't realize I had this much because 
really, I, I rarely use, I mean, I consistently use this type of product. I just go through it so slowly because I don't wash my hair very often. So this is my favorite, this is my holy grail shampoo. And I have this bottle. My friend Jenna purchased it for herself because she had tried it once when she was at my house and she really loved the volumizing effect on her hair, which is relatively fine. And so then she bought herself a bottle, but after a couple of uses, she realized that there was something in it that was irritating her scent-wise. She's very sensitive to scent. So even though this isn't a heavily scented um, product. It's not like it has a strong scent. I feel like it kind of smells like the clay that's in it, actually. There was something about it that didn't work for her. So she gave the bottle to me when it was more than half full. And I've been using it ever since then. It's my most used shampoo. And I, judging by weight, I would say there's probably just like maybe 10, 15% of this left. So this is on its way out, but I'm definitely gonna keep it and use it up. These two products were sent to me in a care package from a subscriber pretty recently, a subscriber who knows that I love the scents created by Le Labo. And so this is a conditioner and shampoo from Le Labo. I don't condition my hair very often, but when I have a little luxe conditioner like this, then I, I will do it, I'll use maybe half of it one time and half of it another to condition the just the tips of my hair, just the ends. And I love how these smell. I have a feeling that I'll use them pretty soon because I won't be able to resist. These are samples that I think were given to me by Living Libations at the Indie Beauty Expo. And I really like Living Libations. I love one of their oils, one of the, the products that they make that's a facial oil. It's the Sea Buckthorn Oil. This is a shampoo and a conditioner. I I don't know. I feel like this, I, I feel like I would, I'm curious. And the point of accepting these samples is curiosity and being able to kind of try them and review them in my empties. So I think for now I'm going to hang on to these and just try them at some point. I'm curious to see how, how they perform. This is the True Blue Spirulina Conditioner and the True Blue Spirulina Shampoo. Gosh, this is weird. It's weirdly hard given that I feel like I have a ridiculous amount of shampoo and conditioner for my lifestyle. This, oh gosh, you can see it's leaking. Or it's not leaking, but it, they're wet because they were in my shower. These were sent to me by the lovely Judy. Thank you so much, Judy. She thought I might like them because she knows I like texturizing products for my hair. That's what this is, the 1995 2-in-1 Shampoo and Texturizer. Sorry, I didn't even review it. I said it was my favorite, but I didn't say why. It's because it's a two-in-one product. You leave it in your hair for two minutes while you're washing. You, you lather it in and then you leave it, and it deposits clay in your hair and the clay kind of preemptively gives you second day hair. It like gives you that grit and texture that it usually takes me a couple of days to work into my hair and so it, it just kind of gives me a jump on getting past the first couple of days of silkiness that I often experience. I also feel like because it's a two-in-one shampoo and texturizer, it's kind of designed for use without conditioner, which is what I prefer. So I really love this because of its texturizing properties. So that's why Judy sent these to me, because she saw them and she saw that they're texturizing. And the first time I tried them, I wasn't sure, but then I tried them again and they, I actually do really like them. They're like my second favorite, or the shampoo is my second favorite way to wash my hair after this one that I've ever tried. So I'm working my way through these. I've been kind of trading off between this and these. I would say every third time I wash my hair, I use these. And I like the fact that I enjoy them and they're a little bit texturizing and they don't make my hair overproduce oil. And I like that there's a conditioner. It's like, again, maybe every third time I use the conditioner just on my tips of my hair. And so the more I use these, the, the longer it will be before I have to repurchase a shampoo of, of my choosing. So I'm going to hang on to these and I'm going to keep on using them up. These are the ones, these are unopened. And this is where I kind of have to ask myself, like, is it worth hanging on to these until 
all of this is used up and then trying them out because that's just not the life I want, right? I don't want to have a bunch of backup sitting around. I don't want to have a bunch of full unopened product sitting around. I would honestly rather just have one. Like it will be my preference to just have this. I would like to eventually get it down to just one shampoo product and have it just be this. These are definitely serving the purpose that I need shampoo to serve. So it would be silly to, you know, pass all of these along because you know, economically, it makes sense for me to hang on to them for a while and just extend the life of this bottle. But I think that these guys, I've been keeping these just because I really like Bumble and Bumble. These are thickening shampoos, which is, that's my preference, right? That's kind of what this is too. It's like thickening, texturizing. And I've been thinking that these are good for travel. Like if I'm ever traveling, I could grab these. But it's been like half a year since they were given to me by Jennifer and I've never taken them traveling and I've never opened them. So I, gosh, I, I have this, I, this is harder than I thought. I, I thought I would be so quick and dirty and easy about this, but I, something about these, like, I want to hang on to them. I, I like having them. I like having these tiny unopened, Bumble and Bumble thickening products. Yeah, this is harder. I just did my lipstick declutter. This is harder than lipsticks because I know that I'm gonna run out of all of this. Like, even though it will take some time, I know that I'm gonna go through it. I think if I wash my hair twice or three times a month, I probably have like, um, well, Hannah, be honest with yourself. I, I have like six months left of hair product here. So I, I don't need to keep this around. I really don't. There may come a day when I use up the last drop of whichever one of these is last, and I wish I had a shampoo sitting around so that I wouldn't have to buy a new one. That day may come, but it's so far in the future, and I'm so fighting for space in my house instead of stuff in my house. And these are such nice little unopened babies to donate that I... I don't <laughs> cherish the feeling of parting with them, but this is what I came here to do. So I'm gonna let them go. These, I, I think it's the same kind of thing. Like what a gift to, to have. This is um, something that was given to me at Indie Beauty Expo. Hair La Vie is a clean hair brand. Their mission is to kind of help free people from the cycle of using products to make their hair temporarily feel better that actually damage their hair over time. So everything is like really clean and nourishing, no SLS, no parabens, no harmful chemicals, not tested on animals. And I'm currently using a serum of theirs and I really, really like it. Where is that? It wasn't in my original pile. I'm currently using this hair serum, which I'll talk about in a minute. I really like that. But it's the same kind of thing. Like, am I gonna keep these around? I, I wanted to test them out so that I could review them for you guys. Like that was the point of them being given to me. But I, I'm i testing other shampoos that I like. These these are um, defrizz products, defrizz, detangle. And that's not really my jam. Like I kind of like shampoos that actually cause frizz. So I am gonna give these big, beautiful bottles of unopened shampoo away to somebody who will re who really will love them and maybe who needs them. Okay, phew, I did it. Who would have thought that decluttering my shampoos would be so difficult for me? It's something about the fact that these things don't last forever. There's like this economic factor that's kind of surprised me. Anyway, these are the ones that I'm keeping and I, let's see, is that what I want? Do I wanna keep these guys? Yeah, I think like these, maybe I can kind of consider these to be my travel guys. I might not be able to resist using these just because they're so special and smell so good, but I could hang on to these as my travel products for my hair. All right, here we're, we're kind of getting into the meat of the meat of the video. These are some different kinds of products. I said I was going category by category, but to me, this type of stuff, like stuff that I use to style my hair in between washes, 
is kind of all one category. And this is the category of stuff of which I have way, way too much because I just have a couple of favorites and I just use them and I don't really feel like I need more than that. And look how much I have, it's absolutely bananas. So I'm gonna go through one by one. This is a Moroccan Organics Hairspray with Shine Radiant Anti-Frizz Finisher. And I bought this at a tiny salon in Ann Arbor that was having like an open house one day. They did my hair for free and did my makeup for free as part of their open house and I felt like I should buy something. And I didn't have a hairspray at the time so I bought this one. It is a true blue, serious crunchy hold hairspray. And sometimes it can be useful, it's like sticky, you know? So if you are someone who looks for organic hair products, but you want something that like really does that job, like holds a crunchy curl, you know, maybe you haven't come across this one yet and I can tell you that it is that, it does that. I just don't have a use for this kind of product. I sometimes used to use it when I curled my hair more often, but I don't really do that anymore. And I just don't feel like I'm gonna miss it. And it's just taking up a lot of space. There's maybe about half the bottle left, so I feel like I can give this to someone else. This also was in the box that Jennifer gave me last year. It's the Erojo Holding Spray, builds volume, adds hold and shine. These kind of do the same thing. This one is like a little bit softer, a little bit more subtle, and I like it better. I'm going to keep this in the frame and kind of put it on notice. I think there's a chance that I might hang on to this if I decide I want a product like this. Again, I don't use it very often, but sometimes like if I run out of texturizing spray in a pinch, I'll use it and it works pretty well. This is the Amica Bombshell Blowout Spray. I This came in like a Sephora minis kit for volume, which I misguidedly purchased because I wanted volume in my hair not realizing that it was really designed for people who blow dry their hair. So there are a bunch of little sprays in here that are from that set. This one from Biogio, I think this one from Verb, this one from Alterna, the caviar one. All of these sprays, so this is the Briogeo Blossom and Bloom Volumizing Spray, the Caviar Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist, the Verb Volume Spray, the Amica Volume Spray. All four of these are for people to spray in their hair before they blow dry it, and it's supposed to give volume. I never blow dry my hair, so these just leave my hair kind of like limp and damp with spray and I'm gonna pass all of them along. I honestly can't really review those products because I, I never used them in the way that they were intended to be used. This is the Hair La Vie product that I've been using consistently that I really love. It says it's a serum, but it's just oils. It's argan oil, coconut oil, it's avocado oil, jojoba oil, and it is, I love using oils to hydrate the tips of my hair. I feel like I kind of do that instead of conditioner. I'll like use oil in the ends of my hair after washing. I love this because it's designed to soak into the hair. It's designed for the hair and it's oils, which is what I really love. I also really, really love how it smells. And so this is like a category of product that I always want to have on hand oil for my hair. When I don't have a dedicated product, I just use a couple of drops of whichever is the least expensive of the face oils that I've been using. But since I have this, I will keep using it in that category. Love it. This is a category of product. This is almost done. This is the one I've been using. Um, if you saw my hair videos, you know that after I freshly wash my hair, when it's still damp, I work some kind of texturizing cream through my hair pretty intensively, a styling cream. And then I just allow that cream to let my hair dry with texture instead of drying kind of limp or weird shaped as it dries overnight while I'm sleeping. And this is the one I've been using. This, I, I can't remember, This somebody sent this to me or something. This came in like a little care package or something. And it's the Living Proof TBD Multitasking Styler. And it works perfectly well. It's not my favorite one I've ever tried. My favorite one I've ever tried was from Briogeo, I think. I had a little sample packet of it. I loved that. I also really like one from Bumble and Bumble called Don't Blow It. There are so many products that do this, what this does. So, you know, this, I just washed my hair a couple days ago and I just used this and I remember kind of squeezing out, this is empty. Yeah, 
this is empty, sad. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and recycle this. I'm not going to put it in my empties. You guys, you see it right now. It was good, but not great. This is a product called Prep by Bumble and Bumble, and it's almost empty, like really almost empty, which tells me that I've had this for a really long time because I don't remember the last time I used it. It's, you're supposed to, I think I got it as like a free sample with something ages ago. You're supposed to spray it on your hair before heat styling. And again, I almost never heat style my hair anymore. I used to, I went through a phase where I was curling it like a couple times a month with the iron and I'm not doing that anymore. I, I'm going to declare this, this empty. I think that what little is left in is so old that I wouldn't want to use it. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Styling Potion. And this is also something that I think was in a box from Jennifer. And I just haven't really experimented that much with it. So it says it can be a smoothing styler, give shine, detangle, reduce frizz. Hmm. Okay, so this looks like it's sort of a smoothing, slicking back styling potion. And... That is not the kind of product that I ever need or use for my hair. So I might ask Joe if he wants this. It might be that he could get some use out of it, but I am not going to keep it. This is a salt spray. And gosh, I just don't really use salt sprays. I have in the past. I, I need more. I feel like salt sprays. So this is by the Gnarly Whale, and it's the Island Margarita Salt Spray for beachy waves. I love beachy waves, but I just, I want more chaos than a salt spray can give to me. So I remember using this, it was during my no buy year when I had run out of texturizing products. I had run out of heftier texturizing products. I used a bunch of this stuff just to like try to give me something. So I was constantly using like this sticky spray to try to get texture. And I was, that was when I was like using some of these little ones from Sephora. None of them function in the way that that I want. They aren't the products that I want. So I used them. I did my best. This was one of those. I, I got a lot of use out of it because I just needed some kind of grit and I was reaching for everything that I thought would give me that because I wasn't going to go out buying a really good texturizing spray when I had something like this around. During my no buy year, I didn't do that. That was against the rules. But the no buy year is over. This was so useful to me for that time, but I would rather repurchase the exact product that works for me and only have one, then like keep this around and keep using it with a lackluster attitude. So I'm going to give it away. Okay. This is the verb C texture cream. Interesting. So I am aware, or I was aware one moment ago when I declared that this was empty, that this was my last of a series of little products, little sample sizes that served the purpose that this served. And I'm not sure that there's another one here. Of the two that I have here that could potentially serve the purpose of that one, this one, the Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine, is sanctioned for use on either wet or dry hair. And this one, the Verb C Texture Cream, says that it's for use on dry hair. And I don't really work creams like this into my hair when it's dry. I only do it after it's wet. And this isn't really supposed to be used on wet hair. So I'm going to give this away. And this, I am going to give it a try. I haven't really... I, I once overused this in my hair and made it really sticky and it was horrible. But I'm going to give this a try as my cream that I use right after I wash my hair when it's wet. Uh, if it doesn't work out, if it doesn't give me what I need, then I'll declutter this and I'll buy something. I'll, maybe I'll buy the Briogeo one that I really loved. Ah, oh, this one, I don't know what I'm going to do. The Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. Lightweight mist for subtle shine and softness. I, I bought this because it was so sexy. It just, it smells good. It's a spray oil like a lightweight spray oil. I would sometimes use it in my ends, like spray it in, in the ends of my hair, but that's what I've been using this for. Ah, I don't know. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spray it in my hair right now and and see how I feel. One moment. Okay, I, I did it and I, I kinda like it. I like it. What I have second day hair right now, no, first day hair. I washed my hair last night. So right now it's kind of at its most floofy and frizzy and volumized and textured. And what this did was it didn't really weigh my hair down. It, it definitely made it a little shinier and 
uh, kind of cause the curls and frizz to hold together a little bit more, but without compromising the volume. So I'm gonna keep this, but it's on notice. I'm putting it on notice. If a month from now I look at this bottle and I'm like, ah, I forgot I even had that. I haven't used it once since I filmed that video. I will declutter it at that time. This is my one dry shampoo that I have right now. Serene gave this to me and it's the Chlorine Laboratories dry shampoo with oat milk, gentle formula. And I like it. I don't really know dry shampoos that well because I've had this one forever. So I said this is my only dry shampoo, but, the, <laughs> but this one's here. I just never think of this one because it's a mousse. It's a dry shampoo foam and I hate it. I'll get to it in a second. This is my only serviceable like spray, proper spray dry shampoo. I've never really had a full size spray dry shampoo. I've only ever had like little minis that came as point perks from Sephora. And I always just use them up and then I never think to buy dry shampoo. But I actually, enjoy this. I really like having it. I do think I will become a dry shampoo person from now on. I think that when I use this up, I will replace it. Not it. I'm not going to buy it again because it, it leaves a serious white cast and I can usually work it into my scalp and I don't have dark hair. So it's not like completely untenable for me. I can totally use it, but there's nothing about it that makes me want to specifically buy it again. I'm not sure how much it costs either. I have a feeling I'm going to be going to the drugstore for my future dry shampoo. If any of you has recommendations for a dry shampoo that's also hyper texturizing, like a combo dry shampoo, an intense volumizer or texturizer, a dry shampoo that you spray in your hair and then it feels like really, really gritty, almost waxy. If you know of a product like that that's drugstore priced, let me know in the comment section down below because that is what I will be looking for when I use this baby up. Let's talk about <laughs> this bugaboo, the Way Hair Care Dry Shampoo Foam. So I bought this forever ago when it was brand new and everybody on YouTube was going bananas about it because it was so chic. Way is such a chic brand. It was so of the moment and I think it was kind of the first dry shampoo foam to really hit the market in a major way. So I got sucked into the hype. This was way pre no by year when I was at my worst and I just ran to Sephora and I was like, give me that dry shampoo foam. And I've been using it all this time. Every time I need a dry shampoo. So when my hair on its like ninth or 10th day gets oily at the roots, but I'm not quite ready to wash it yet, I will foam a little bit of this right into my roots, let it sit in there, fluff it up with my fingers for a little. You guys saw me using it actually in my hair videos if you ever watched that feature length film. I have learned better over the years and I, it's sticky. I don't like it because it's really designed to be put in the hair to dry down and then to be brushed through. But I don't brush my hair very often and I don't want to brush it at that time. I only brush it right before I wash it. So this just kind of sticks at my scalp and it it soaks up the oil and it does its job. But um, ugh. so it's almost gone. Like it's, I think there's probably like that much left in here and it, it foams. So I don't know, gosh, I don't know. I don't even know if it's worth giving to someone. It's also really old and gross. I am going to get rid of it because I just, I hate using it and I have this one now and that's what this whole project is for. Goodbye. This is also from Hair La Vie. This is part of the gift bag that they gave me with the shampoo, the conditioner, the serum, etc. This is a leave-in conditioner. So it says it has keratin, silk amino acids, horsetail extract, soy protein, and it is a spray. I do have the part that screws onto the top that makes it into a spray, even though that's not screwed on here right now. I have it um, somewhere else. I'm tempted to keep this because it's so nice and new and it was given to me by the brand, etc, etc. But I just, I don't need a leave-in conditioner. I don't want my hair to, to seem conditioned. I want it to seem like, like mussy and frizzy and, and like bedhead. Like I'm, I'm kind of going for perpetual bedhead and this seems like it's an anti-bedhead product. So I'm going to give it away to a friend. And this is my love, my beloved Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray. This reminds me, I have a mini of this and, and I don't know where it is actually right now. 
Where is that? Well, I can't find the mini that I have of this, but I'm, I'm keeping them both. This is the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray, and it is my all-time favorite texture spray. It says soft, gritty feel, effortlessly undone, and that is exactly what it does. The soft, gritty feel. It's like that gritty, waxy thing that I was just talking about. So I use this um, maybe once a week, so I'll use it kind of right after I wash my hair when it's in danger of being silky. And then maybe a week later, I'll use it to zhuzh my hair up again. Uh, so this bottle should last me kind of a long time. I bought this. This is one of the things I bought with my Sephora gift cards that I had. So I'm going to be talking more about this in an upcoming video. But needless to say, I'm keeping it. So this is my only dry texture spray. That's like one of my crucial categories that I want to have. This is my only dry shampoo. That's another crucial category that I want to have. This is currently in the running to be my only styling cream for my wet hair. And then these are in the same category, kind of. They're sort of like slightly defrizzing, nourishing, oil-based products. So I feel okay about you know, keeping both of these, I think I can use both of these up and they're both kind of nice enough and, and special enough to me that I'm going to stick with them unless this one doesn't get used, in which case I'll declutter it. And then this one, you know, if I ever decide to start curling my hair once in a while again, which I haven't done for a while, if I ever start deciding to do that, none of these are strong enough hold to, to help with that project. So I think I'm going to keep this on hand just because it will be the only one of its kind and it's a good thing to have. So my categories for hairstyling products going forward are going to be dry texture spray, dry shampoo, styling cream, and oil. Those are the four categories of products that I consistently use. And for now, I'm going to agree to keep one regular old stronghold hair spray as well. I would like this to get down to just one product eventually. One of these will get used up first and then the other one will just be in its category. And then I'll have one of each of these five types of products and that is my goal. So these are the ones I'm gonna keep. Hair La Vie also gave me these hair vitamins and I don't know, I, I need to research these more. This is like a box of, of hair strengthening vitamins. Uh, I'm not opposed to taking them. I do take a couple of supplements, all of which have been carefully researched and considered in combination with what I know my diet does for me. So, um, you know, I'm not against taking these. I just, I haven't, I haven't taken them out yet. I haven't thought about it yet. I haven't done the research yet. So I'm not sure whether or not I will take them. If I do, obviously, I'll report back to you guys about it. Okay, so these are all of my hair clips and pins and stuff of every kind. And this is more than I need. So these clips, I really like this kind of clip. This one I don't like, and it just broke. It heard me saying that I was about to declutter it and it gave up the ghost. That's so funny. The plastic just broke. All right, I'm gonna throw this away. But that's good because that was the one that I didn't like. These ones are, they're pretty good for my hair. I really like them. They hold a lot of hair, which I have, and they don't hurt my head very much because they're kind of loose the way they open. So I'm going to keep these two. I like having those guys. This is the one, this is the hairband that I sometimes use when I go to the gym or that I did use when I would go to the gym. It's really old and gross and it's seen a lot of super sweaty Bikram yoga classes, but I don't think, yeah, it doesn't smell bad. I've washed it a lot of times. I'm just going to put this back in my gym bag and uh, I bet I'll be glad that I kept it. I, I'll be glad to, I'll be glad that I'm um, able to continue using it every time I go to the gym or if I start going back to Bikram. So I'm going to keep that. Here's my little tray of hair bands and bobby pins. I... I probably have a couple more hair bands than this. You know what's amazing, you guys? I'm about to tell you something that I'm super proud of that I haven't said on my channel yet. I did not buy hair bands after my no buy year. These hair bands have been in my life since before the no buy year. 
I, I kept them around. I kept hold of them. My collection of hair bands, the ones that I know where they are, right now there's one in my hair and then there's these three, has kind of grown and shrunk and grown and shrunk over the course of the no buy. Like I would lose them all and then they'd all come home and then I'd lose them all. Right now, about half of them are lost and I have these ones at my disposal. I don't know what where they are. The other ones are. I don't know if they will come home, but they probably will. I'm just gonna keep rocking it with the ones that I have. There are a couple of little clear bands in here too. I also haven't bought these after my no buy, but I might. I might buy a little pack of these. I really like having these for braids, and I might start doing braids again soon. Um, and the, these old worn out ones are the only ones that I have, so I'm gonna keep these in here, but I might replace them. The bobby pins is just something that's good to have, and in fact these, I don't need to be storing these anymore. I can just put them in here. I love having this big hair donut. I don't use it very often, but when I do, I absolutely love it. I just pin it into my hair and pin my hair all around it, and it gives me a ton of volume. I used this to do my Amy Winehouse half beehive at Halloween, and I just absolutely loved it. I'd like to start using this more often. And then these are my little cat ear headbands that I purchased from Amazon in one listing that was $10 for like eight of them. And they're so cute. You guys have seen me wearing them sometimes in tutorials and stuff. I can't remember if I bought all six at once or if I bought two bunches of them and then kept gave some away. I can't remember how I ended up with six. But I can tell you that I do use them a lot. I use them like ta like we use, you know, washcloths or something. So I have a little spot in the bathroom where I, I keep them all. And then I reach for them. I reach for one and I'll use it for a couple days and then I'll wash them and stuff. But some of these are small, smaller than others. Some of them are more comfortable than others. So I'm going to quickly go through and find out which ones are the ones that comfortably fit my head and which ones are the ones that are a little bit too small. Okay, sad for me. I didn't realize this, but these two, this black one and this white one, feel really great and comfortable on my head. And these four, all four of them are too small and kind of pinchy. So I've been, I use them, I'll use them, but I'm, I never feel like happy about it. They don't spark joy. I'm always like, oh great, I got one of the small ones, garbage. So I'm just gonna keep the two that are really comfortable and fit really well. And I'm gonna give these a good wash and then give them away to a friend with a smaller head. Nice. Okay, so these are all the things that I'm keeping from this category of clips and hair bands and stuff like that. These are my brushes and they're full of hair. I didn't clean them out for this video. I hope this isn't like incredibly gross for some people out there who get grossed out by stuff like this. I don't really get grossed out by stuff like this, so it doesn't feel worth my time to clean these brushes out, but um, I'll try to go I'll try to do this quickly so that we can get it over with. This is like a teasing brush, like you bat, like for back combing your hair and teasing your hair. And I just don't use it frequently enough for it to be worth the space that it takes up. So I'm gonna give it away. This is an Anna Sui brush and it's just incredibly beautiful. It is so beautiful that I, I'm i gonna keep it. I don't need two hair brushes, but I think I'm gonna keep two. These are my most functional hair brushes. This is by The Earth Therapeutics and this is by Con Air. And I like the one from The Earth Therapeutics better. I just feel like it, I don't know. I just like it better. It does the job. It's a little bit less. It doesn't quite pull at my hair as much. Both of these are quite old, but I feel like if I want to give my hair like a really good old fashioned brushing, uh, I'll kind of reach for these interchangeably. Like they serve the same purpose for me. And I've realized recently that I like this one better. You know what though? You know what? I'm just going to keep this one. I'm just gonna keep this beautiful little one because it does the job. I only brush my hair twice a month. And even though these big paddle brushes are theoretically like better for my thick hair, like a little bit easier to use, I take so much more pleasure in using this one because it's so beautiful and it was a Christmas gift and it still does the job. It still gets out all of my hair. 
it's it's the nicest brush technically of all of them. I just tend to think of it as being a little bit harder to use for a full brushing because it's smaller. But I can take my time. I can get the job done with this one. And I don't want these big clunky brushes around. I I am so excited <laughs> that I just made that decision. I'm just going to keep this one beautiful hairbrush. And this is just my hairbrush now. It's my only hairbrush. All right, this is the random stuff that is left over. So this is also something the brand gave to me at the Indie Beauty Expo. It is a one-time use thermal treatment wrap. It's like a hair treatment, like a deep conditioning treatment. I'm excited to use this. I haven't used it yet because shortly after that, I was like thinking about getting my hair cut and then I got it cut. So it was in really good shape for a while. And it's just starting to get to the point where I think it's been long enough since my cut that I could use a conditioning treatment like this and really give a good review of it. So I am going to actually use this sometime soon. This is some hair dye. So several years ago, I had my hair dyed uh, like an ombre, a purple ombre. So it was like a dip, ombre dip. It looked like my hair had been dipped in purple. So I had the ends bleached and dyed purple. And then I bought this Ion Radiant Orchid cream hair color to continue refreshing the color in the tips of my hair as it wore away as it washed out and it worked beautifully. I had had it dyed a more blue purple and this is more of a reddish purple. It's definitely like a pinky purple. It's orchid and so it was different than what I had had done but I loved it. It was super easy to use. It's just a cream in a tube. You don't have to mix it with anything and there's probably enough left for one use. So my hair no longer has the lighter ends that it had that made it easy for this dye to take, but I think that my hair is a light enough color and this red purple is kind of copacetic enough with my hair that I think I could probably do it. I could probably dye the ends of my hair with this dye and it would probably take and it would probably show up. So I'm just keeping this around because one day I'm gonna decide to do it and it'll be so fun. I don't know how soon that day will be, but I, I know that I'm going to use the last bit of this at some point when I decide I want a little bit of excitement in, in the life of my hair. So I'm going to keep this. And then this is a little brow. It's like a professional brow tint that was part of a couple of products that Juline gave me years ago because I didn't have anything for dyeing my brows. She gave me a dark brown and an auburn. This was the auburn. It's just, I never used it because it was too red on me. I don't know why I still have it. I'm going to throw it away. This is my turbo twisty, my turbo twist, my turby twist. <laughs> this is my turby twist towel. So it's what I use after I wash my hair to kind of wrap it up in a nice, neat, upward facing, <laughs> upward encouraged shape. And it's old and it's kind of gray. It's been washed a bunch of times. I've been tempted to replace it with the Aquas hair turban, but I'm not going to do that because this one is still serving its purpose. I may do it someday, maybe if I have a gift card or something, but I'm not going to buy the Aquas hair turban for $45 when I still have this one and it works well. So I'm keeping that one. These are like hair curling thingies that were given to me at the Indie Beauty Expo, a little sample of them, which is, I don't understand why they gave me this sample set of three of different sizes because you can only curl one strand of hair. And I'm not about to like curl one strand of hair with three different sizes. Like I don't, I don't understand why this is an effective like sample set, but they gave it to me. I guess it was effective because I'm showing it to you now on my channel, which is what they wanted, even though I haven't tried them yet. So they're called spoolies and it's actually kind of an ingenious design. So you take, say that this is like your hair strand, you take a strand of your hair and you wrap it around and you wrap it all the way up to your scalp. And then you flip this inside out and it holds and it sticks onto your scalp like a little like a little UFO. So you have all of these little UFOs all over your head and they obviously w would work to curl your hair. I just haven't tried these because I, I wouldn't want to try it out unless I had a full complement of them and could do all of my hair. So I might just give give these away or get rid of them like I've I, I thought, I was like, oh yeah, I'll totally try those out. And they gave me the sample set. And I didn't realize until I got home that 
the sample set wasn't really effective for trial. I actually remember the woman, she said she was like, email me and I'll send you like a full set. But I don't think I'm going to do that because I, I just, I haven't like thought of them once and I haven't, I, I don't want more stuff. And I just, you know, now you guys know about them. If you're someone who wants to curl your hair without using heat and you do it a lot and you want to sleep in it, you want it to be comfortable and you want something that's functional and innovative and from a small woman owned indie brand, actually, the brand was really cool and the people were really nice. Now, you know about these, I'm sure as I can be that they work beautifully, but I'm not going to keep these three of three different sizes. So they're going. I'll link that company down below, obviously, in case you're interested. So here's my one heat styling tool. I don't own a blow dryer, but I do have this curling iron, and sometimes I go through phases where I enjoy curling my hair. In fact, I kind of been feeling one coming on lately. It might be, <laughs> it might be just around the corner. I'm gonna hang on to this guy, even though I haven't been using it in recent months. It is something that I like having. These fell on the floor and I forgot to include them, but they're salon fit vinyl gloves. They're, they're gloves for dyeing your hair. So because I kept that purple hair dye, I'm going to keep these gloves. They're also sometimes useful for other things. So they're, they're a nice thing to have around the house. I'm going to keep them. So here is all the stuff I'm getting rid of, and that's 26 things. I think I threw away one, two, three, no, two things. I threw away two things, so that's 28 things that I'm decluttering out of my weirdly vast collection of random hair products. All right, and then here are all of the things that I am keeping, and there are 26 of them here. So because of those two that I threw away, I'm a little bit ahead in terms of how much I'm keeping versus how much I am giving away, but essentially it's 50%, 26 and 26. I'm essentially keeping 26 objects and getting rid of 26. I'm gonna do a quick once over of these and see if there's anything else I feel like I can let go of in light of all we just went through together. So I just kind of gave a glance over the ingredients of this Hair La Vie revitalizing hair blend formula. It has a bunch of B vitamins in it, which is something that I tend to avoid in supplements because I know that they can aggravate acne. B vitamins can ag aggravate acne. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just group this with all of the other Hair La Vie products that I'm giving away. I think it'll be nice to be able to give someone like most of the line as it was given to me. I have a B vitamin complex that I sometimes think about starting to take, but I've never been brave enough to take that one that I bought because I'm worried that it's going to break me out. So if I haven't been taking that one that I bought, then I don't need to keep this one around, this one that was just randomly given to me and consider taking it. Okay, so here's everything. These are all the tools right here, and these are all the products. And looking at all these products here, I still feel like it's too many. I wanna shave it down by a little bit more. There are 15 individual products here, and that's just way more than I expected to be keeping. So I'm gonna go ahead, I know it's just little, but I'm gonna give these to someone. So now we're down to 13. I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as soon as I as soon as I can, like I'll use it in 10 days. Next time I wash my hair, I'll use that. And I'm gonna go ahead and use these guys up too the next two times I wash my hair, these shampoos and conditioners. And then I will be down to 10. And that feels a little bit more manageable for me, especially because some of these are products that I'm just gonna keep in my cabinet for the occasional use. So I'll really be down to eight products that are sort of in constant rotation, things that I'm reaching for every couple of days every week or so and that feels a little bit more like what I was angling for so I feel like that's a job well done I'm happy with this this is so much more manageable I can keep it on my head I can find a place for each one of these things and keep each one of these things in their place instead of having what was before this declutter I now know 
over 50 products jumbled together in a big ugly box shoved under my desk. And that is it. I'm gonna say now what I forgot to say in the introduction, which is that I have a video, I have three videos up on my channel about how I care for and style my hair. And I will link all of those. I'll actually probably have linked them in the cards earlier. So they'll already be up there. If you click on the little white eye that's in the corner right here, it'll open up a bar that has all of those videos and you can click through and open them in another window and watch them or click onto them after you finish watching this video, which will be very soon. But um, yeah, it's long because I did it like check-in style, but it is extremely thorough. And even though I now have bangs, nothing has changed. I still take care of my hair in the same way I did when I didn't have bangs. So for those of you who have always been asking me, I still get asked all the time in the comments about how I take care of my hair, even though I have those videos up on my channel. So they're there, they're there for you, they're a permanent record, and if you had any questions about how I use the products that I was talking about in the video, then those videos will answer all of those questions. But if you have any further questions, leave those in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to get to them. My life, as always, has been really chaotic lately, and I've kind of intermittently been able to be in the comments and not in the comments, but I am doing my absolute best. I love hearing from you guys. You guys, being on YouTube is, it has its ups and downs, and I've been so grateful lately for those of you who are really sweet. Those of you who swoop in and just leave these wonderful comments, people who've newly discovered my channel who are saying like, this is my first time commenting and your channel has helped me or I really love watching you. Like anything, I know it seems small to you and it may seem kind of like you're screaming into the void because I'm just a stranger on the internet and I don't always have time to reply to all of them. But I just thank you so, so much. Your support, it, it is what enables me to keep coming back and doing this even as my channel grows and and it kind of gets ugly and difficult sometimes. So thank you guys for being there for me. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching my hair declutter. Sorry I got all dramatic here at the end, even though it's totally not relevant to the contents of this video. I've just been really grateful today, specifically for those of you who are always sending me love. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't forget to take extra good care of yourself right now so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world.